Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can rename multiple file inside my SharePoint document library using Power Automate. As you can see here, I have a data document library which has around 50 documents with a different type Word, Excel and PDF type. I want to rename all these file with current year at the end of each file. So let's just talk about how we can do this. I'll go to my Power Automate and try to create an instant cloud flow. Trigger will be manual. File name will be rename files. And the first step we have to perform is we have to get files properties. I'll select my site address. In my case, this is LDIT. This is my site name and the library name is data once i have this what i'm going to do is a control statement apply to each select value of this uh, get files add an action here and uh, say this send http request sharepoint request to SharePoint and uh, site address will be the same site this LTID and method will be post and then the URI underscore API I have format already available with me right so we have to just write API slash list get by title my document library name is data and then slash item you have to just copy this from here and uh, paste this inside your URI and now in the items we will provide a dynamic ID here so get file properties ID once we have that so that means we can uh, write to this specific uh, ID inside my this data document library right so the ID will be this current item ID application slash json semicolon o data equal to verbose if match all and uh, x http hyphen method will be patch right this is ready and in the body section what we are going to do is start your curly braces quotes double underscore metadata hit enter curly braces quotes and will be type colon what will be the type if I go inside my this ABI section if I search here SP dot data you will see the category term this one we have to copy this SP dot data dot data item and paste this inside my type comma single quote file leave ref the file that the name that we want to rename is quotes and inside the quote what I want to do is select name here so by default the current name will be there and after that I want to append the current year for each and every file so it will pick uh, each file name here it's a dynamic one and after that it will put hyphen 2022 for each file name and I will just save this try to run our flow our flow started I'll refresh here as of now no action my flow has failed here it is saying unauthorized 
I'll go here and check this again if there is anything wrong I'm doing I have not included underscore API that's a big mistake okay save this one and try to test it again now this time it should run I'll try to refresh this one now as you can see it has uh, started working and it's already putting after each file name hyphen 2022 and once this is succeeded here all items succeeded if I go here refresh as you can see my all file name has changed now from the current name to hyphen 2022 so likewise you can replace the entire file name as well but in that case you will need to maintain a separate excel sheet for that and if you want to append before the file name you can do that as well and after the file name you can do that as well i hope you like this video if you do like don't forget to subscribe learn and tech thank you so much for watching